What is going on, Ignite Faith family? It's Curtis here with another hot shot for you guys. And uh, as we enter into the summer months, I just want to encourage you guys because this is the time we start to really harvest our year. We start to really come into our own, you know, whether it be getting out of school, you know, families start to hang out more during this time of year, you know, between now and like Christmas, like everyone's getting together, everyone's hanging out, pool parties, cookouts, etc., whatever. But I just want to encourage you guys as you step into the season. That this season is a harvest season, but as we harvest, as we can, as as we step into a place of fellowship and of worship and and of intimacy with with each other and with God, as we as we step into a time where it's easier for people to get together, I want to encourage you guys to not forget the breaking that has to happen from our lives and out of ourselves for the perfection of our souls for the work in the kingdom of the Lord. So, you know, just like you know, as as, as the crop gets cut down and gets brought in, you know, the, 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 the good crop gets separated from the bad crop and the bad crop is incinerated or used as, you know, fertilizer for the next crop to come up. But there's just a, just a, a thing on my soul where it's just like, we need to step into the season of harvest for ourselves where we're breaking off the things that don't matter, breaking off the relationships that are, that are toxic to us, you know, becoming toxic to the world around us and not conforming to the world around us and stepping out and just being believers and being able to speak truth no matter where we're at, no matter where we're at our jobs, you know, at the pool, with our family, at the cookouts, no matter where we see the sin, where we receive the evil, wherever we see, you know, the enemy bubbling up around us, we need to be able to speak into that moment, into into that atmosphere to bring Jesus and to bring God to the forefront and not let the enemy have any footholds to establish himself in any areas that we have influence because we have influence it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and and, and this goes for the young people that, like myself are trying to step out and, and and i've had this conversation with cody where it's like i have problems speaking to older generations because they don't want to listen but my youth does not excuse me from speaking the truth to anybody so as we step in as we move into a time where it's easier to see people easier to gather easier to fellowship I'm encouraging everyone to just step into a place of intimacy with the Lord so that as you draw closer to Him, you're drawing farther from the things that are separating you from Him. So, this is an encouraging word. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.